On Wednesday, President Donald Trump recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Since then, Palestinians have been demonstrating the streets against that decision. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right, like every other sovereign nation, to determine its own capital. Acknowledging this is a fact is a necessary condition for achieving peace. I ask Reverend Mitch Glazer, the president of the Messianic Group Chosen People Ministries, what he thought about President Trump's decision. Well, I'm speaking on behalf of myself. On behalf of myself, I would, as a Jewish New York believer in Jesus, um, I would say that if it wasn't for Jesus, I would still be a Zionist, Tony. And, uh, and so I believe that it will cause political problems on a very practical level. But I don't see it as other people see it. I think it, I actually think it's a positive move. Uh, first of all, uh, everybody recognizes Jerusalem as the capital already. So, I mean, it would be great for the tr President of the United States to uh, identify it that way. But I'm in Israel many, many times during the course of the year, and there's no one who doesn't think of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel because every sovereign nation has the right to call to decide what its capital is. Well, I don't think Palestinians in Israel. Oh, they would they would agree that they would. If, yeah. Sure, if they were able to have East Jerusalem. Uh, uh, evidently, uh, the president has uh, told Abba Abbas that uh, he would not be in favor of uh, having a Palestinian section of. Jerusalem to be a capital of Palestinians. Are you in favor of that? Uh, no, I'm not. In fa I'm in favor of a united Jerusalem. And uh, so, no. It, 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 that actually, it sort of begs the real question. It only makes sense to have a capital in East Jerusalem and a capital in West Jerusalem if we have a two-state solution. And, uh, and so, I don't know. On a personal level, uh, I don't think we should have a two-state solution. I think the people least in favor of a two-state solution are the Palestinian or, uh, uh, or Israeli Arab evangelicals who probably are not in love with the idea of having a state that could be more easily controlled by Hamas or uh, outside influences from uh, more Islamic fundamentalist neighbor, uh, neighbors, or especially Iran, and so I don't. I, I to say that Palestinians are generally in favor of a two-state solution, I think, needs more parsing it's, and more nuance. I would say that even though I may not believe in a two-state solution, I believe that there can be a productive way to share power, to share the land to share the good parts of living in Israel rather than uh, having a two-state solution.